Recently, I heard a pastor say that the church isn't a crisis center. Well, I understand where they were coming from because their church isn't equipped to serve in that capacity. Most ministry leaders don't realize that churches are often the number one frontline mental health resource for their members. With one in five people in North America impacted by mental illness and millions more struggling with addiction, relationship issues, and stress, the church is often the first stop in finding support and help. So ready or not churches, here they come. Hey there, my name is Laura, founder of Hope Made Strong, where we equip you and your ministry team to support and care for others. We were created to be in relationship, both with God and with one another. The Bible says it's not good that man is alone. A core human need is to belong. We all crave it. We are called and even commanded to go and make disciples. All of these things, relationship, belonging, and discipleship, point to being in a community together or being tethered together. But let's be honest, we are all broken people trying to navigate this world and striving to be more like Jesus. As people, we are all on a journey to overcome. Whether it's anger, fear, jealousy, ang anxiety, depression, or even insecurities and selfishness, each one of us is imperfect, serving a perfect God. So what is the role of the church in creating and supporting a community of making disciples and being in relationship with one another with imperfect people? I feel that caring for people in a holistic way is part of supporting the discipleship journey. While the church may not have the expertise that the behavioral health system does, people are still looking to the church for support. This is why people care matters at your church. In the past year, churches have transitioned from in-person to online services and back again. We have been forced to make huge shifts in our mindset. We've had to reallocate people and financial resources to allow the, to allow the community to hear the message and engage in church online. But spoiler alert, the shifting has not stopped. The church is about to face its next challenge. As we begin to re-engage with church and the church community in person, people are coming out of their isolation broken. They're dealing with relationship conflicts, anxiety, depression, addiction, and they're reeling from the deep grief and trauma. As a first responder, your community is looking to you for support. Now is the time to look at your care ministry and see if you're prepared to support your community's needs because ready or not, here they come. The pastoral staff are a key component to that support, but they will quickly be overrun and experience compassion fatigue if they are the sole resource for those who are suffering. It's necessary to have a care team and an intentional care plan for those who are looking to your church for support. And for a limited time, I'm offering a free guide on building a sustainable care ministry for your church. When you provide pastoral support to those in need, it's important that you have a team of people behind you. You can create an effective care ministry by learning how to build a sustainable program in three steps. Number one, leveraging community resources. Two, building a volunteer care team. And three, developing a training strategy. Each of these steps is outlined in the free guide and includes a community resource template to help you with your search and record contact information and program information. Your church is strategically positioned in the neighborhoods of your community. As people find freedom and support, your church's light and witness will grow. You will become known as a place where broken people can find healing. Those who are struggling can find grace and the unlovable can find hope. The kingdom of God will grow because your church will be a place where people find support and are connected to the necessary resources and overcome the suffering and struggles of life. Hope Made Strong is here to help you on your caregiving journey. So grab the guide for building a sustainable care ministry and begin to build an intentional plan that allows you to care for those who are looking to the church for support. Let's build the kingdom of God together. Thanks and take care. And if you found this video helpful and want to be notified when a new video goes live, make sure you push that subscribe button.